Hi, my name is Cindy Rang, and my daughter and I own a large quilt shop in North Central Washington, and we have been slowly working on a tour of our shop. Our shop is about 5,000 square feet. We have over 8,000 bolts of fabric, and we've been here for 22 years. So today, we are going to show you the reproduction area, wool, and a whole lot of inspiration just in time for Christmas. Okay, so tour number five was actually a tour of the pin cushions. We've been doing pin cushion club for about five and a half years, so we have well over 60 to look at. And those, in terms of the shop, those are kind of right behind where the camera is right now. So some of these, I think you saw a couple of these last week if you saw that but I'm just going to show you again because this is their normal resting place so this one is my pattern it's called the wool pincushion I think it's just $3.99 for a printed or a download or we do have some kits we have some kits that have the darker colors or I know we even have some bright ones which are kind of fun if you would rather have a brighter aesthetic rather than a primitive one um, we also have the wool needle case that also is available in some kits and something that um, this one is called the flower patch needles and notions and it's called the flower patch needles and notions because you actually get the rest of the pattern I'm gonna grab in just a minute one called flower patch I'm just gonna reach across and grab that it's this sorry I keep stepping over my dog which is put to sleep by our tour but anyway so you also get this um, and this has the four different flowers so you get to choose what you would like on the front of your needle case and so I I like wool um, wool is just easy to work with because you don't have any kind of a raw edge you can just stitch it down and be totally done with it and so for this particular one you've got your pages for your needles and then a little zippered pouch with the by Annie um, mesh is what we put in there and this one is made out of um, linen for the outside edge so and I think we also have those available also in kits but that's called the flower patch needle and notions case um, what else is back there I think that's about it and then so then what we are starting into is what we think of as reproduction or we call reproduction fabric so it's the stuff that's a little bit darker you know from like the um, um, reproduction stuff from the late 1800s um, early 1900s so it's stuff with a little bit of a of a tone to it maybe a little bit of a grayscale to it and so um, all of these kind of go together so you'll see stuff from um, Renee Nanneman is back here um, there's a lot of Janet Nesbitt's fabric is back here. Some of the reproduction stuff from Andover, uh, from Needle Love is back here. Um, and currently, one of our newest ones that you've probably seen on the last a couple episodes ago of our Wednesday evening box opening is um, this beautiful flannel line. And it's called Fall... Mm, I have to put my glasses on for this fall fantasy flannels it is beautiful it's by moda there is we had ordered um, a couple extra bolts of the beige solid that's in there and there's no pre-cuts left except for a couple of layer cakes but that's really what's nice about a layer cake is that it's these perfectly cut 10 inch squares all you really need is one layer cake and a yard of fabric so all of these together you get 72 so you sew six across by seven rows you end up with a 60 by 70 quilt add um, one border in whatever you think is fantastic or a couple of borders and your quilt is done and it's just beautiful in this case a beautiful flannel quilt that's just ready and you'll have one of your Christmas gifts off your list the other thing that's right here is this is kind of a fun pattern let me grab for you it is by under the garden moon and it's called block party this is a lot of fun I have done a bunch of things with this pattern so um, you can see that the letters are this size so if I put my hand here you can kind of see this is like a four inch wooden block this is just glued down 
um, and this is in fact just regular Elmer's glue. You don't even have to use that fancy E6000 or anything. And so all you have to do is cut this out. Um, I think I did fuse down the letter and then I just glued down the black. And so it's kind of fun. You can do kind of a fun little display. You can also use those letters to decorate the front of a bag. Um, a couple of blocks on a quilt. There's all kinds of options. There's a quilt that we just posted on Thursday called Hope Floats. Hope Floats. And we found a really cool um, a panel that had letters on it. If you can't find anything like that or you want something that's not so bright, maybe something that's a little bit more teen or young adult appropriate, this would be kind of a reasonable option for you just to create your own fabric. So um, this is kind of fun and again it's called Block Party. All right we're gonna readjust and we're gonna move down and show you some more fabric and some more samples. Okay so let's look down at the bottom first if possible. So there's still quite a bit of Hoot Nanny left. This is a fantastic line and I think that there's quite a bit of it left because we actually don't have it back where we have all of the Halloween fabric. This you kind of have to search for and I love it because it's really kind of that nostalgic vintage looking um, Halloween which I think is so cool and that's why it's back here but it's great colors, really rich colors. This would go well with any um, sunflower project that you're making. There's just some really nice treasures back here that are kind of hidden. Um, really good polka dot. Oh, I love this one. Probably just, this one is that same print, but it's on that kind of taupey background. It's just a really nice line and we do still have some fat quarter packets available. So our fat quarter packets look like this and um, it says letter B because this is color B. I think we have one left of in the A colorway and those are a little bit brighter and you'll kind of see the difference. The picture is on the website and, um, and shows but uh, we have more of the dark ones. So that is Hoot Nanny. Um, and if there's something that you're looking for and you don't see on the website right away, another thing that you can do is you can just do a screenshot um, while uh, Brittany is panning around here, circle it, and email that to us. You can email it to orders at fabricpatch.net. We'll look and see what it is that you're looking for. Look at this cool piece. Look at that. Peace blooms. That's fantastic. There's just a lot of hidden things and it's possible that there's things back here that just never got put on the website. Things that came in where maybe the line was fairly small and there was only four or five pieces or it came in late or it came in during the pandemic and we were just, you know, busy doing other things. So there could be some really nice treasures back here that people don't even know about. Um, the other thing that's back here is we have um, Janet Nesbitt's fabric. Um, she's from One Sister. And so what's really nice about her as a designer is she uses that same color palette all the time. And so everything kind of goes together. So even something from a previous line, I love this one with the black and the purple and the red, that little red that's in there, it's really more of a plum that's in there is the same, goes with this one same one with this line with the daisies. I don't know if you can even see that. All of those cool daisies and it says beautiful is what it says on it. I should have remembered that. It's in this color, there's an orange and there's a red. Anyway, kind of a really cool line. All of her stuff, like I said, kind of goes together. Her books are the books that she has that really unique, um, crazy piecing technique. Her, her books are really well written. Every single one goes through the 
basics of how to piece it. And what's really nice about it is you sew the piece on, you press it, and then you trim before you add the next piece. So you don't have to be super accurate about the piece has to be two inches by four inches or whatever. So it's really nice and it has kind of this really cool um, crazy pieced sort of look to it. So this particular one has everything in there. There's flowers and birds. Some of this stuff is applique, but most of it is pieced. Um, her stars, her sun, her flowers, her little chickens are in this book. There's also a really cool flag in this book. Um, but we have most of her titles. The other one, this is probably the most popular, crazy kind of wonderful, because in this one she's got, I think, the best pictures on the front. Same thing, she's got those really cool birds. There's some houses, a bunch of different houses. Um, some flowers and trees. And then in the back of this book, she has a bunch of wool stuff. Um, some really cool wool things also. So kind of a nice one if you've not started any of her stuff. And I was gonna show you a quilt. This was one, if you watch our channel, you've probably seen this quilt a couple of times. We have it hanging up every once in a while whenever we talk about her. This was a sampler that we did. Um, and I think this book is still available. I just think that we don't currently have it in stock. But um, we did this as a block of the month. Um, but her book has every one of these blocks in it and a special project that goes with each block. Because what happens is you might make um, 12 blocks, but you only need one for the um, the sampler. And then you use the other ones for the other project. So it was kind of a fun thing that we did and um, we did a couple of years ago. So, but we keep it out because most of these, um, like I said, the book is still available, but most of these things, the star, the, the posy, the houses, the hearts, even the dog, they're all available in some of her other books where she has pieced them out in other things. So um, again, that's one sister. Um, the other thing that we brought back here to show you, because again, um, throughout the throughout the shop, we have hundreds of hundreds of samples of different things that we've made just to kind of show you what it looks like. And Tri Dazzle is one of our most popular videos that we've put out. Uh, Brianna, um, my daughter, did that one. And she shows you a couple of really cool cutting tricks and piecing tricks. Um, but the one that she did in the video is all out of Kaif Facet. So it's bright, purpley, big flowers. So this is just a fun one to see. This is out of a flannel, a reproduction flannel. So it's kind of fun to see that same quilt in a totally different colorway. And this one, I don't know why, but it does not have a binding on it. I guess I know why. It's because we're always just trying to get it done so we can get it in and you can see it. But... Anyway, you can make tri-dazzle out of um, uh, any group of fabrics. It doesn't matter. It's always fun just to see it out of something a little bit different. All right, I think we're going to, well, before we readjust again, maybe just in um, real size, I should show you. This is also Janet Nesbitt. These are a couple of her panels. She does some panels that are kind of fun. Um, is that upside down? No. What does it say? Friends are like flowers. Friends like flowers laugh, bloom, never fade. Oh, super cute. We are starting a series this month, I believe, um, where we are doing a border series because we have featured some panels that are seasonal uh, monthly panels and we're going to do a different border around each one. And so um, even if you're not doing those, you could pick any panel that you think is kind of fantastic where the, the fabric has done all of the work for you and all you need to do is just piece some blocks and put some things around it and then you're good to go for either a smaller quilt or keep going with borders and make it a larger quilt or turn it into a wall hanging. So anyway, we're starting that this month. If you have not subscribed to our channel, if you do that, you'll get a bell that'll notify you whenever a new one goes up. Your other thing is you can go to our website at fabricpatch.net, subscribe to our newsletter, 
and that's a good way for you to find out what else we have planned and what else is going on. This one is kind of cool. This one is, um, a lot of companies will do this where they do a panel, but it's actually two large 20 inch blocks. So this particular one, she actually has a free download, a free pattern where she puts um, the one here I guess it would be on your right. Um, she puts that in the center, and then these big stars are some corner posts. And in fact, in a very early, early, probably a year ago episode of Fabra Chat, which is our Wednesday morning uh, little coffee with friends episode, um, we showed you how to do something kind of fun with that bolt. Um, all right, let's see. I'm going to show you a few more before we have to reconfigure. This one is another one. This one is really similar to the one that I showed up there. I'm just going to hold this up close. So it's another. I have to say that if anything is featuring gardening uh, or flowers, uh, we usually don't pass it up when a rep shows us. We, I have sort of a thing for flowers and gardening. so. Let's see. All right. There's other stuff back here. We have, um, there's some older um, French General that's back here from Moda. Different ones. And then we have some older um, cream kind of French General. And even back here, there's kind of a whole French General area back here. All right. I think what we're going to do, do we need to reposition or should I? Okay. We'll reposition and then we'll show you what's back here. So there's a lot that's on this back wall, so bear with me a little bit, but there's a lot, again, of just sort of hidden gems. If there's something that you're looking for that's sort of a quick, a quick project that you can get done before Christmas, you can find it back here. Um, if it doesn't need to be a Christmas project, you can still find it back here. So I'm just going to show you a couple things kind of up close and personal. So first I wanted to show you this pattern, Mr. Grumps. We showed you this um, last week with the pin cushions, this little guy. And I think when I picked him up, I didn't even mention what his name was. I think all I mentioned was that um, this is that double-sided um, minky that's kind of cool, so I didn't have to do anything with his ears. But I wanted you to see what the real pattern looked like, because look at what a difference a smile makes or a wagging tongue. The name of this pattern is actually Mr. Grumps. And so this one was done out of wool. And then, of course, he was given a little grumpy face. And, of course, I can't have that. So um, he has a nice face and crooked ears. So anyway, I just wanted to... Some people had asked about um, where to find this. And you probably wouldn't necessarily know that that's the same guy. Also back here, we've made these. And these are all over the shop. This is one of our best selling patterns and it is the pocket scarf. And so you can wear it without wrapping it around if you want to. If you just don't have pockets, you don't want to wear pockets and you need a scarf for different reasons, whether it's because it's cold or you know, for whatever, you have these nice great big huge pockets. And you can make the pockets pretty much any size you want, but um, it can be for your keys, your cell phone, um, just to warm your hands, whatever you would like. What's really nice about this, and we have a pattern available, a printed pattern or downloadable. Um, it's just a $5 pattern, but I'm just gonna tell you what it is. It's one yard of fabric. There's no batting, nothing in here. This one happens to be just a flannel. Um, and flannel is really, really nice, but if you worry about static or anything with your hair, you can do it out of cotton, you can do it out of minky, you can do anything you want. But what this is, is this is one yard of flannel and so what I did is I cut four strips that are nine inches wide by the width of the fabric, which would be about, well, by the time you cut off the salvages, it's like 40 inches. So I sewed them together. So this one on this side was now 80 inches by, by nine inches wide. This one, same thing, nine inches wide by 80 inches. Had them right sides together, sewed all the way around, except for a little opening that I left, turned it right side out, top stitched it to give it that nice little finished look and then took this one end folded it up to whatever height 
of pocket you want and then I just side stitched it put a little bit of decoration on there and that's it and that's how I ended up with this great big huge scarf which if I wanted to I could wrap this around my neck several times if I wanted I could also make it a little bit smaller and just do three strips that I folded my seam is in a little different place for a smaller person with little pockets where they can put their mittens and not lose them so very very popular easy to make so fast a yard of flannel so fast that you can make these for everybody on your Christmas list friends daughters daughters-in-law neighbors super nice all right also up here this is kind of a similar idea except this one is for a quilter and she makes hers very different from how I make mine she actually made kind of a thinner neck up here and she put all of these pin cushions in pockets and she wears this when she's sewing I have one kind of similar that I use when I'm long arming but when I'm sewing hmm, I need all of that space in my lap and this one is called a chatelaine for Carrie and then also on this wall back here I love wooden spool designs I think that we buy everything that they do we love their patterns I used to live down in Troutdale um, Oregon but I think now they've moved over maybe to Montana to be closer to grandkids but um, she is a great artist and they put together a lot of different um, ornaments and wool things so they have several different ones if you search the website you can see the picture a little bit better but they have happy campers and these again they go together pretty quick and they're just kind of fun to make Sorry, <laughs> but um, if you're just you know giving somebody some kind of a fun little gift just to decorate their package with something that is unique to them so again the little campers um, there's also this one and it's called bringing home the tree and it's got um, all kinds of little trucks and cars there's a fire truck there's a police car there's a dump truck there's a school bus every kind of vehicle um, you'd like there's a park ranger um, truck there's all kinds of things on here um, this one is called um, Christmas wagons I love this one so this is little red wagons filled with all kinds of different fun things you could decorate a whole tree with these you could do 12 days of Christmas you could do an advent calendar um, this one is just called Christmas Ornies it's just some basic um, Christmas ornaments super fast to go together all you do with these I think we have a tutorial on this um, and then Eliza and I did um, projects for beginners and I think maybe uh, class number two class number two um, we did kind of a little fusible where we did it onto an ornament you can do I mean onto a tag I mean you can do the same thing she has all of the artwork for you all you have to do is trace it iron it onto the wrong side of your fabric iron it down onto your tag and you're done you don't have to do the hand stitching with wool once she has has given you the artwork you can do whatever you'd like to do with it and in fact I've done the same similar thing with this one this is her pattern and this one here uh, I can't what is this one called snow happy snow happy so this top one there's a snowman I enlarged that I drew it out of um, I I used fusible web put it on the back of cotton and I put that on a towel um, so again once you have the artwork whether you're doing um, wool applique fusible applique even hand stitchery what's really nice is again Debbie Busby's um, artwork is just fantastic and really recognizable I just like it um, couple other different things back here that are hers she has a book bowl me over she does these little things called bowlies which was kind of fun because I think we had been doing pincushion club for a couple of years when she came out with this and everybody would ask us the same thing it's like well, what do you do with all those pincushions nothing 
we just set them around. We just like to look at them and put them in a wooden bowl. It doesn't make any difference. Well, then she came out with bowl leaves, you know, like it's a thing and it's a thing. And so all you have to do is make all of these little, you know, pin cushions, put them in a bowl and they're just adorable because you kind of get addicted to making them. They're just a tiny little project that you can make in an hour or two be done with it. And so she's got these and then she has other ones. There's hello fall. There's, um, this is actually not her. This is somebody else who's done the same thing. This one is called sewing room bowl fillers. And I think that's why they're calling them bowl fillers because you really only need one pin cushion, maybe two, but bowl fillers, meh, limitless. So that's what that one is. And we have, oh yeah. And these are the sizes of them. This one is actually, we turned it into a pin cushion. I guess we broke the rules, but if I made more, I could call it a bowl filler. Um, let's see what else is up here. Um, let's show you. Oh, here's another one. We have a couple of different ones also by wooden spool designs that, um, be related, which is kind of fun. And then I want to show you, I'm just going to throw all these down. These, um, I think we have six different versions of this. Um, let me show you one that's, let me show you one that's not stitched on yet. So I think they also call these, again, bowl fillers, but you can decide what you think it is. And so what it is, this particular one is all hearts. So this one is B. So um, it shows you what they're going to look like. If you don't want them to be bowl fillers, she's going to show you on the back. You can see that you could really put it into like a wall hanging. Can you, is that good? Can you see that? And this is how it comes. And this is Bonnie Sullivan who does this. And this is super, super smart. What she did is she took this fabric and she printed, this is a digital printing. Um, she printed this fabric. So it's be creative, be happy, be joyful, be humble, be kind, be loving. And so she has all of this printed on there. And then in the pattern, she gives you the directions to be able to put the flower around this one. Um, what is this one? There are, oh, most of them are flowers. Then there's a heart. Here, let me get you the picture again. One, two, there's four flowers and two hearts. You can do it in bright colors. You can do it in soft colors, darker colors, whatever your aesthetic is, it doesn't matter, but super adorable. So she did this one in the B series. And then she did this one. And I'm not going to pull them all out, but they're all kind of the same. It's like 18 bucks, I think is what they are, because you're getting the pattern and then you're getting the digital printed fabric. So this one is snow days. And again, there's six in there for this one. There's Frosty's hat, ice skate, snow, peppermint, mitten, and let it snow. And then this one. Another Christmas one. This one has a gingerbread man, Frosty, Cardinal in the Holly, Mary and Bright, Rudolph, and Santa. And then she did some bigger ones. And so these are two of the big ones. There's a Christmas heart. And this one ends up being, does it say? It fits in an eight by 10 frame. And I think this one does too. And this one, we kind of have partially done just to show people kind of how it works. So you can either put on the back, you could either do a diaper flannel, or in this case, I just used a piece of batting. I like to put something behind my stitchery so that it doesn't, you don't see my trailing threads. And then we just stitched, you can stitch on whatever you'd like. So we did have to add the little wool or you could do a cotton applique to add your other pieces. So we had to add the star and the stocking. And then we added a little button for the nose and then we just put some green stitches I've started stitching the words and then I probably will either do some little red buttons or some um, clusters of French knots for the holly berries. 
So it looks like that kind of fun, kind of a fun little project. If you want to give somebody something to do, make it fairly simple. Just add a couple little wool bits, um, the thread, and then everything else is in there. And then this one is the one that was hanging back here. And this one is called a needle and thread. It's exactly the same idea. You get all of the pieces for this and then except for the wool you add your own wool buttons and thread um, and it makes this so what is printed is this outer piece and so I don't know if you can tell but what was added was this brown piece of wool there is green wool down here and a button two buttons and then this was stitched on and that was stitched green wool red wool, green wool and stitched, and then the flannel was put on for a little pocket. So you've got a little pocket right here, you have a pocket right here. It came with this little needle card that comes in it. You just add your little bit of wool in there. And then this was the other part that was printed and it's actually a little pocket. I'm just holding it the wrong way. And then all we added was we just added this little rickrack and a little bit of stitching and then those little bits of wool. And that's it. So it just makes this really cute little stitchery case. So um, Bonnie, it, she keeps coming up with new ideas and keeps adding more of these printed panels. So they're kind of fun, but that one is called um, the needle and thread all right let's see oh what's this oh this is just a little best friend this is plays with wool designs plays with wool designs um um they um they are no longer in business uh covid kind of ended it for them and um so this was theirs when we are sold out of their patterns um, this one won't be available anymore, but it's just this nice little dog mat. If you have a slobbery dog and you're tired of cleaning it up, this is just a nice cute little, cute little mat made out of wool. Oops, made out of wool, but you could make it out of anything. Um, this one is um, by Granny's Legacy Patterns. We love them. We carry a lot of their stuff. They have great patterns, really, really well-written patterns. And this one is called um, Lepidoterrific, or so, because Lepidoptera, you know, is for butterfly. And so um, it comes with just the pattern, or for under 40 bucks, you can get everything in there. All of the wool, all of the, um, the linen, um, everything that you need. Um, I don't think, let me feel, the thread is not in there thread is not in there and a needle but because um, you're going to want to stitch it all down but anyway that one is and then what's nice is when you're done with that you can just put it in a frame it's um, makes it 10 by 30 and we actually have frames um, that it will fit um, the other thing back here oh market tote is back here this is my pattern and it's available again as a download or as a printed copy and this bag looks like this. And I made this bag um, because we were doing Sue Spargo um, block of the month. We had started with bird dance and then we did, I don't know, we've done four or five of them. And we kept bringing our um, 12 by 12 totes. Um, one tote would have all of our little wool bits one tote would have all of our threads and then one would have our um, projects that we were working on. So this bag was made to hold a three of those bins. And so you can see that it opens, we have grommets and it opens up big, how can I show you? It opens up nice and big so you can put all three of those in there. You can also um, put your cell phone in there and on the side there's even a little side a little pocket for um, your water bottle or whatever else you're carrying and then we made these um, in class and um, suggested that everybody decorate them however they want I actually used a linen on one side and this was just a piece of wool that I had in my stash we probably have something similar to this if you're looking to do it this way and then this was just um, this cover oh 
It's actually a pin cushion. It's the front of a pin cushion. Instead of turning it into a pin cushion, I put it on the front of my bag. So again, you know, if there's some pattern that you've picked because you just really love it and but you really don't want a bowl filler or a pin cushion, put it on the front of a bag. You know, this is somebody else's artwork that they've drawn for you to use however you would like. So this market tote, it's a great bag. It's also um when we go to the movies, this is the bag that we take because we can put all kinds of things in there. It holds everything. Um, let's see. Also back here, this is another one of the plays with wool designs, some of their stuff, which these are another one. I'm not even sure if they're on the website. I think they might be, but when these go away, they're gone for good. And they're kind of fun because these were, I'm going to reach over across here. These have this little flag stand. And the idea is that you make these little guys and then every month you change out your little um, holiday flag. There's a couple different companies that do something similar to this and we've always liked them. Um, we did this kind of as a block of the month, um, but again, they um, have closed up shop. So what we have left is we have left, um, they're called Wee Ones. So we have um, My Slice. There's a few of those left. And what's nice about them is everything is in there. Your pattern, all of the fabric and the wool, everything to be able to make it look just like this. Binding, everything is in there. And how much are they? They're 10 bucks. So there's this one. We have a Valentine one called Be Mine. There's the Give a Hoot. There's one left of the little turkey one left of the flip-flops a nice little summer one so there's a few of those and then those will be those will be gone let's see what else is over here um let's see let's talk a little bit about wool i think we're gonna do um a wool trunk show separate because we sort of have to show you how we sell it we do order felted wool and non-felted wool on the bolt um, depending upon what it is that you're doing with it we do cut them up then for kits and um, and in what we consider to be sort of usable pieces um, because wool can get expensive and so you know um, even the smallest little leftover bit everybody hangs on to because you can use them for flowers or we use leftover wool um, small pieces for cleaning scissors if you do any um, uh, fusible uh, web and you have uh, fusible applique on your scissors uh, the little sticky stuff and your scissors get a little bit black you can clean those scissors off really easily with a piece of wool uh, so we save all of it. We sell it all a little bit differently. We even have pre-cuts of wool. So we're going to do that maybe at a different time um, uh, in case that not everybody is interested in that. But I do want to show you a couple of things that are available um, really quickly on the website. One is smidgens. Smidgens are kind of fun. They come like this. They're little two and a half inch squares and there's, are there 50 or 100? 50. It's a packet of 50 and they're just cute as can be. So again, if you're doing flowers, if you're doing all kinds of different things, it's what's nice is you get that multitude of colors rather than getting one piece and you know even getting 10 pieces that you have to cut up. So it's kind of a nice thing. Um, they also do these little packets and these have 72 and they're mixed. Let me get something you can see a little better. And they're mixed. So you get one inch, one and a half, and two inch. So they're all mixed up. All of them are. And you can either get pastels, brights, a mix of both, or I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is um, all dark. So they're mostly dark gray, black. There's some brown and um, dark, did I say dark gray in there? Um, the other thing that's happening though is now we've noticed the last few that we've got the packaging is a little different It's exactly the same. It's still the label says the same It's 72 that are one one and a half and two inch, but it's in a different little zippered pouch These little pouches are reusable kind of fun. You can just throw them all in there So again bright pastel dark and mixed are how those come um, Let's see 
I'm not sure why this is down here, but this, I think we showed this at our Pincushion Club last month. Um, and then <coughs> I know for a fact we no longer have this. This is um, another one of those plays with wool designs. It's just a little candle mat. But you know, this is probably a good time to mention that we have on our website a section that says samples for sale. When we can no longer, I mean, we make things every single week. Um, there's at least three of us here that sew for the shop that we bring things in for you to be able to see what, what a pattern looks like. Um, when we can no longer get the pattern or the fabric doesn't make sense anymore, we can't put together something that looks like it, we just sell it. Um, it hasn't been used by anything, it's just been sitting around in the shop for a while. So check these out. This will be something that will be on there. Um, if you don't see it, it's because somebody beat you to it because what happens is there's usually it's one of a kind. So um, we put them on for a substantially reduced price and so that one will be on there. Um, let's see. The other thing too, we're just going to kind of pan across fairly quickly. We have lots and lots of buttons and trim. Probably the best thing, if there's something that you're looking for, maybe she could zoom in a little bit, you could, because um, there's some things that are on the website, like the things that we sell all the time, like the little carrot noses. There's a large, a medium, and a tiny little small one. Um, oh, like these these rustic hearts are on there. There's a few fun things, but other things, if there's something you're looking for, you can do a screenshot and circle what you're looking for and email that to us or send us a little note or give us a call. We can FaceTime you and see if there's something else that you're looking for that's back here. And it's the same thing really with our trims. I don't know if you can turn. Okay, so first though, this is where we keep our raggedy rug. So this was a very early um, YouTube video that we did. If you haven't checked this out, it is um, kind of a fun thing to do uh, for a very washable rug. The more we wash this, the better it looks. You can also do it in a pillow form if you'd like to. These are the snips that are necessary to be able to complete it. Um, and in the video, we put it on monk's cloth just because I like the weight of the monk's cloth. It doesn't have to be that. If you can't find the right color. The other thing is um, uh, I also like the striped fabric because then I don't have to draw my lines. So it doesn't have to be monk's cloth. You guys buy us out of monk's cloth as quickly as it comes in, but you can put it on anything. It doesn't matter. Um, the other thing, I'm just going to point this out. This is the nice little secret. We do not carry... Um, cross stitch supply. I mean, we carry thread and needles, but we don't carry a lot of Ada because it comes in so many different colors and so many different sizes. This was something that um, got ordered apparently by accident. We don't know much about it except that it is four, size 14 Ada and it looks like it's about 58 inches wide. And so um, anyway, as soon as that's gone, it'll be gone. It was only ordered by accident and it happens to be here until somebody finds it and buys it. So, um, and I think that's on sale for like 50% off. So, um, and then over here, so let's go ahead and show you some of the trims. We like to decorate everything. So whether it's a collar on a pin cushion, um, the edge of a quilt, um, uh, we did, like I said, a lot of, uh, uh, Brazilian embroidery with wool in some of the Sue Spargo series. And so there's all kinds of stuff. We have tons of lace. We have, these are fun. Are you up here? Where are you at? Mm -hmm. um, these are the cutest little things. I think these are like 12 bucks. What does it say? $13.95. And it is, let me read the label. Right. Vintage trim, quarter inch, 12 yards and it comes on this adorable little wooden spool. So there's quite a few different colors of it. There's also a bigger one. This one is $19, also 12 yards, but you can see that the uh, rickrack is bigger on that cool wooden spool. All kinds of stuff, vintage. There's some Amy Butler ribbon. There's some Sue Spargo ribbon. There is some three-dimensional stuff for purses. 
That's like perfect for a perfect little hippie bag. And let's see, more humongous jumbo rickrack. Really fun for some edge um, work on the edge of a pillowcase. Um, dingle balls. What's fun about these, I buy these all the time, just like a quarter of a yard because I need them for um, um, edges or for different things for um, snowmen, for gnome noses, all kinds of things. Something like this, look how cool this would be on the edge of a towel. All you would need is a half a yard of that. Look at that for a vintage towel on the edge of some of that toweling. Just sew that down. Everybody will ask if you did that, if you crocheted it. Tell them you did it in your spare time. There's even some ribbon. This is some Riley Blake. I think we have that in like four different colors. There's a yellow, a blue, there's a red. And again, if you don't find it on your website, normally we would assume that it's because we're sold out, but it's possible that we just didn't get it on our website. What happens with the trim is that it comes in and goes out pretty quickly. And so it could be that we never put it on the website. So again, if you just do a quick little circle of it, Email a picture of what you're looking for to orders at fabricpatch.net. If we can't find exactly what you're looking for or it's gone, we could find something very similar for you. Something like this I know is not on there. That is just fun. And I think, again, you know, we just bought this so that for a little collar for somebody, uh, for a pin cushion. Um, what is this? $5.99 a yard. You don't need very much of it just to add a little bling to something. So there's just weird stuff back here. All right, I guess we'll end with Spring Showers by Mountain Patchwork. And um, hopefully you've found um, some inspiration and ideas and something fun that you might want to make. And um, we've sure been enjoying showing you all of the little nooks and crannies and corners of our shop. So join us every Sunday until we make it through the entire place. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.